I've got to open this. I've had it for, oh. I'm gonna put on my matching glasses. I've had this for a very, very, very long time. I think I should open it. It is a Scooby Dooby Dooby Doo. Should I read everything that it does? Rotating lights with bats. Scooby logo projects from the tower. Glow in the dark features. Loads of spooky sound effects. On top of all of that, it comes with these make a monster parts and putty included. The box is really banged up. I mean, when I bought it, it wasn't in good shape, but it's been kicking around for a couple years, too. I think I got it for a really good price. I don't even remember anymore. I know it was at Toys R Us, I believe, and I believe they clearanced it to, like, I don't know. It was either $7 or $14 or somewhere in there. I wanted it. I feel bad that I didn't get the mansion. Can't believe I haven't opened it yet. I'm opening it right now. I mean, I showed you the box already. I can open it, right? And it's gonna free up some space on my shelf over there, so. I wonder if the putty will still work. I wonder how dusty it is. Oh my goodness, what are these? It's screwed into the bottom of the package with metal screws? What? I have never seen anything like that before. You need a screwdriver to remove it from the package? What? What? Excuse me while I get a screwdriver. It's crazy. Scooby Dooby Dooby, where are you? I have never, never in all of my years. I'm not a spring chicken by any means either, let me tell ya. They're really in there too. This is what it's come to. Like, kids are taking those figures out of the packages all the time from the stores. Opening blind bags. This is why. It's what it's come to, you bad, bad kids. Don't open the packages in the stores, please. It's crazy. All right, I'm just making sure it's not too dusty or anything. I always kind of thought the door was broken because of how kind of crooked it fits in there, but I think it's the way it's supposed to be. blow off the cobwebs and everything because it's haunted. Now this glows in the dark at night. I know that that candle must glow and that would look cool in the window. That's neat. I know there's a button here. Okay, here, here we go. Is it every time that you press this that the trapdoor goes down? I'm going to turn up the lights and we're going to see what we can do here. I'm going to see if you can see anything. It's a very dark review. Now let's see. Turn this, you can see the bats. Now, this is supposed to project, I think, the Scooby symbol on the wall. Let's see if I can do it on this piece of paper. I don't see the Scooby logo, but I see something being projected. Oh, you can see it just faint right there. They say it's the Scooby logo, but it's projecting something, maybe in pitch dark. All right, I'm gonna turn out the very last light. Is this glowing in the dark yet? <sighs> well, this isn't glowing, that's just the light of the thing. That is not a logo. 
I'm sorry, I can't make out Scooby-Doo logo there. I think it might be broken or something. Because that doesn't look like anything. <laughs> it is projecting, but it's just like a, a lump. Okay, now I have to turn on all the lights again. This is a very weird toy so far. Oh, here's another button that I didn't realize. This button is just a spring for the door, which that's cool. Are the instructions on the back of the box? It says, trap door, a figure off the roof. I have a scrappy. Hold on. I think these are the figures you're supposed to use with this set. It doesn't show any figures on it or anything. I think these are from the same company. Trap door pitches a figure off the roof. That works. Haunted library books pop out. Oh! They really p I... Whoa. And they separate into two. Oh, I... Oh. I didn't expect that much of a pop. They come apart in two different sections. It's really cool, actually. I guess we have to try that again. I'll be more careful now that I know. Press the skull head. <gasps> Make a scary skull from the book on the bookcase. It's one of the accessories in here. So I'll, I'll get back to that. So there's a mold to make a skull shape. And then it says, door springs open on reaching the secret stair. So yeah, you go. And when you stand at the top and you step on the block here, the door will spring open. And then we have Spooky Twisting Spiral Staircase. Oh, which I don't have installed yet. So I guess I better open up these extras. Let me show you this book. Now this book has an awfully funny looking spine, but it opens up and you can make a... It's a mold for a skull. And then I better assemble the staircase. And that clips into here. I guess you just twist it. It seems like there might be a mechanism that... Or does it just do that? I guess you just twist it. I don't know what the big deal is about that. Can't see any other button that does anything. Watch out for running rats. Oh, now there is a button for this rat. And it does go quickly. I think if you want to change the batteries, you have to take all those screws out, which is a lot. Okay, and then so we have make morphing monsters from the coffin in the cave. Here's the coffin. That's the body mold. And then you have all of these little parts to create your monster with. So it comes with a pair of bat wings, some skeleton feet, some fangs, two green eyes, Oh, this heart. Now, I thought there was going to be more than one kind of monster you could create. Perhaps you can get other sets, but this set only comes with this. Should I open this putty? I guess I should do it for you guys. Feels like silly putty, if you've ever had silly putty before. So it's like... Ugh. It's hard, but it's soft at the same time. And I think it needs some warming up. And then when you start doing stuff like that, you, you make bubbles in it and it starts cracking and stuff. But it's really hard. I don't know if it's because of the age of it. I'm gonna try to make the skull in the book. It's awfully fluorescent orange. I just took a little piece and I did one side of the book. Now I'll take another little piece and squeeze it into the other half of the book. In this case, I think less might be more. Squeeze just a little bit into each side. Then I'm gonna close the book. Squeeze it together. Open it. It worked, it worked. That's cool, that's really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna try the body mold. Squish really hard. And it will go in. And maybe 
if you're doing this right, you do you want to close the coffin? And then when nobody's looking, you stick this. So it's kind of like a magic show. Oh, I think that's upside down. And then you stick the other bat wing in this side. I'm gonna stick this foot in the bottom here. And I'm gonna stick this foot into the bottom there. So that's cute on its own. This coffin is really nice. And then, I'm gonna put its heart in its heart place, like that. You know what? I'm gonna put the eyes in the skeleton's face. I kind of squished his face and I don't think it matters though. Okay, yeah, so me putting the eyes in kind of ruined the skeleton's face altogether, but I think that's okay. And then he has this mouth, and I squeeze that into it like that. How does that look? I'm gonna add that onto here. I'm gonna pull the door off the hinge so I can take him out easier. And there I go. There is my little monster. That's how I imagine he would sound. I think this will be very fun to display and play with figures. Making this creature and this stuff was actually more fun than I had thought. It should have come with Scooby-Doo. It would be nice if it came with some figures. It's cool that I had a Scrappy hanging around. So that is my review of the Scooby-Doo Morphing Monsters Lighthouse Crystal Cove Fright House playset. It's the Crystal Cove Fright House playset. It does not come with any figures. Let me reiterate that because I am going to show Shaggy in the preview. And this glows in the dark because I see it sometimes at night. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Where's that instruction sheet? I think the staircase might do something special. Number seven, put the ladder in place by slotting it into the floor. Spin the ladder for head spinning fun. I don't know, it's, it, it's, kind, of, it's, kind, of, it's kind of underwhelming. I don't really get the ladder. New, 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 do, 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 This is really the hardest part of the YouTube making, is the thumbnail at the end. Put this back here so you can see it well. Hold this guy right up here in front. And then I'll go back here like this. Thank you so much. I'm recording? How long have I been recording? Does it say?